msingi wa imani yetu ni Yesu ameni rehemu kwa neema yake uji o wake Kristo uko karibu tumai kwa wote injili ya bwana habari njema ya ufalme wa Mungu itahubiri wa dunia yote tumai ili pole ona kesho dunia ni na afrika yote to your favorite program the bible, bible treasure quest. quest this is the place to be and always remember you need to call your friends to join you as we learn about jesus i'm teacher Anne, and i'm happy to be with you as we open the treasures hidden in the bible and with me i have children i want them to introduce themselves my name is howie beaches i'm 10 years old and i, I like cooking my name is Eliaki Mobero. I'm 13 and I love football. My name is Jonas Alonso. I'm 13 and I love singing. My name is Eliki Plimo. I'm 10 years old and I like skating. My name is Kayla Munari. I'm 12 years old and I like singing. My name is Triana Nerika. I'm 10 years old and I like cooking. Thank you so much. It's time to connect to heaven. Eli, pray for us. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for this day that you have given us. Thank you for protecting us. Please may you teach us more about the Bible. Anything that I've not prayed for us for, may the Holy Spirit intercede. In Jesus' name, pray and believe. Amen. 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 During this season, we have been learning about the fruit of, of the, the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. And we have been looking at the various elements that make up the fruit of the Holy Spirit. What have we learned about so far? Yes, Kayla? Peace. We have learned about peace, and we say that we need to be at peace with everyone. everyone. Okay. And then, Eliakim? About joy. About joy. Alonzo? Love. Love. And then what else, Triana? Patience. Patience. And then today, we want to learn about another element. This is something that sometimes if someone doesn't do to you, you really feel hurt. And
and I hope you're ready as we unveil the element that we're going to learn today of the fruit of the Holy Spirit, and that is kindness. When we talk about kindness, has someone ever been kind to you? Yes. What did that person do until you said, like, ah, oh, this person is kind to, you, to me? What did the person do? Yes, Triana? My friend shared her pen when I did not have my pen. Ah, that's so good. Yes, Alonzo? Uh, my friends were friendly to me. They were friendly to you under what circumstance? Uh, they can share my things with the, they can share the things with me and talk to me. Okay, that's so good. Sometimes you know when you don't have friends to talk to you, you feel lonely. Okay? Yes. So someone needs to be kind to speak to you. Someone else? Kindness, kindness. Yes, Eliaki. Uh, some children in the school were kind to me to help me know the directions when I was new in the school. Boys and girls, imagine you're new in a school, you're not even sure where you're supposed to be, at what time, and then other kids look at you from a distance, but others come to help you. That is so good. Boys and girls, I know you have experiences of people who have been kind to you, and maybe you have been kind to someone. Let's see what the Bible tells us about kindness. Are you ready for our activity today? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Are you excited? Yes. Are you looking forward to our activity today? Yes. Then take your position as we do our Bible spelling. As we do our Bible spelling and everything comes right from the Bible at Bible Treasure Quest. And I want to open my Bible. You need someone to be selfless to help you so that you know that this person is really kind to you. Let's see, are there people in the Bible who have ever been merciful to some people? Who have ever been compassionate, who have shown compassion to some people who needed that? And some